Hi, Jennifer. Hi, you come in. Okay. Okay, welcome to my house. I'm a student in Denmark and I am studying at University of Copenhagen, so I live in Copenhagen. I have two birds because I really love birds, but right now they are put to sleep. Not literally, but... So here we have the kitchen area. It's very clean today because you came. There's nothing much, like I don't have an oven. It's just heating systems. It works by induction. And here we have my beautiful dining table. There is space for six people. And I just got these flowers from you. Thank you so much. In here, there are so many shoes that I don't use. Come. And of course, I have a cuckoo rice cooker with pressure system. I love it so much. This is a beautiful painting. I bought it for hundred dollars. Yeah. Sorry, I bought it for a million dollars. It's painted by the most famous person I know. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Ho Chun. Oh yeah. Also, my birds like to stand on here, so they sometimes poop on the clothes. So here's ah. I really love my bathroom so much because it's actually quite newly built. About four or five years now and I moved in the second year it was built. That also meant that there were so many problems with this place. You can see that the whole wall has lifted from this floor. You can basically just put your finger under. Sorry, it's a little dirty. And it's like just... It's movable. We also have floor heating system here. I never do that because I want to save money, you know? So what I really like about my bathroom is actually my soap dispenser, which I got from my bestie. Wow. Are you done? So this is the bathroom. How do you feel? It's so clean. You can stay here. Bye. Oh. Oh. A few moments later. I just charged my social battery and you can come out again. There's a lot of trash down there. Now on to the bedroom. My bed is huge. It's a 180 times 200 centimeter bed. So there can be almost like three people lying down here. What I really love about this place is the big windows. I love that they're going so high up and so low. This is actually a small French balcony, they say. They call it French balcony. You can open it in different ways. So let me show you. Normally. So it opens all the way. You don't need to show where I live, please. You can also open it like this. So it only opens on the top, which is quite nice when my birds are out because they can actually not squeeze through this. And what I really don't like is actually the fact that the sun only comes up between 9 and 12 a.m. in the morning and then it just disappears because of the direction of this building. So here we have my little desk. Are you a YouTuber? Um, actually, yeah, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Look, for passing 100,000 subscribers. Anyway, I really love Nesco. Me and Nesco are matching. So sometimes I sit here and do my makeup or edit videos. Behind it, we have a little heater, which I'm using these days because I'm sick as hell. And I really love this big mirror. Actually, I want a bigger mirror because I just feel like the room gets so much bigger when you have a big mirror. This apartment is about 47 square meters on the paper, but actually it's like 37. Yeah, I don't know where to go. As a student in Denmark, you actually get so many benefits. Did you know that you get paid for being a student here? I knew that. Just say no. No. How much money you get depends on many factors like your parents' income. If you live at home, if you live out. I think people would be quite curious about the price of this apartment. It's in Danish crowns, it's 4,200, I think. But plus heat, water, and so on. I think it's like 4,500. What I really love about my apartment is the fact that I don't have to share bathroom or kitchen with anyone. I also have this little room in the kitchen area. It's actually full of clothes that I have to donate. Generally, dorms are not this newly built in Denmark with this good price, so I was really lucky to get my hands on it. Also, the fact that you are having kind of separate rooms with the hallway connecting between them. Can I wash my socks? It's dirty. Let's go. 
It's minus five degrees today. We're gonna go down to the laundry room now. Your boyfriend must be happy to see you every day. He doesn't love me. <laughs> construction work because there was a lot of water leaking into this apartment and it's just there are so many issues so the thing is I'm actually studying pharmaceutical science and I'm almost done with my master's degree but I usually come here because I live so close by it's just not the same with my school which is called pharma school it's also okay. under University of Copenhagen so but the campus is just now. disappointing um, I think we are just gonna go back. <laughs> <laughs> this is too short. This is a Danish university campus classroom. Nothing special. Le eh? What does it mean, something name? Ramen is ramen. Eat. Do you? To go. Have you ever said that to someone, Hojun? Have you ever said it to another girl? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. you need is here except for good sunlight because there isn't good sunlight the sun is here the window is here where is the sun huh how is the sun gonna come in it can't thank you but why am i complaining i love my place so what i also really love about this campus is that there are so many toilets but it's for all genders, right? In Denmark, we don't really separate boys and girls, not even in dorms. Sometimes you're getting random roomies, and it can be all genders, so you have to be careful if you care about it. I'm gonna miss this place. Mm. Hojun is not a Danish citizen, so he's actually gonna go back to Korea. Mm. And next time we come back to Denmark, we won't really have any access to here, I think. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll try my best to answer the questions. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.